Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Today, we're diving into a new move by Amazon that has a lot of Fire Stick users talking. They have started blocking certain third-party or unofficial apps from running on your Fire Stick and Fire TV devices. Now, if it were your phone or your computer or whatever, I would just say just get, get yourself some antivirus or anti-malware software and run it and, you know, be done with it. But unfortunately, there are no really good malware scanning apps available in the Amazon App Store for your Fire TV devices. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you an excellent malware scanning app that you can install on your Amazon Fire TV device or even your Android TV and Google TV devices also. This app does a great job at scanning your device and letting you know exactly what you might want to remove. This will be a short and sweet video, easy peasy, no must, no fuss, no greasy aftertaste. So if you're ready to learn, I'm ready to show you. So grab your remotes and let's go. So as I was saying, there really aren't any good apps in the Amazon App Store um, for viruses and, and malware. To show you what I'm talking about, let's just do a quick search for the word virus. Uh, and see what it comes up with. There it is. So if we go down to apps, um, it does see it does show you Def Squid. This is an app I reviewed uh, a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, I think they started charging money for this app, and also it hasn't been updated in a couple of years, so that's not really an option. And as you can see here, there really aren't any other apps that you can speak of. If you search for virus or antivirus, you'll come up with the same pretty useless list. So what I'm going to show you today is an app that uh, I believe it was written for cell phones, but it, it, uh, this version uh, in 2025 is one that works on all of your devices, uh, your Fire TV sticks and so on, and it's called Virus Total. And I'm going to show you a little later. I'm going to, first, I'm going to run it and show you how it works. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to install it because, like I said, it's not in the App Store. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll click scan. So this will take a few moments. It'll basically scan your entire device of all the apps, all the APK files on your Fire Stick. I, by the way, am on my Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. So here are the scan results. A couple of uh, problematic uh, apps there at the top. You can see that those two specifically, uh, the red one on the left and the yellow one on the right, those two are specific apps that have been blocked by Amazon recently. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of speculation as to why that might be, whether it's because they are, you know, malicious or if, or if it's Amazon's move to just start, you know, removing the ability to run some of these apps. But if you try to run uh, those apps on your Fire Stick device, you're going to see, you know, a screen that lets you know that you can't do it. Unfortunately, it's a little quirky to, to navigate around this app. You can install a either a Bluetooth mouse or a, um, a USB wireless mouse, you know, with an OTG cable. Um, I'll put some links in the description below if you want to check out, you know, some of those accessories if you don't uh, already have some of that. But the way I've learned to do this is, you know, like if you move around, you, can, you don't really see the mouse moving around anywhere, right? Um, but if you go up to the top, you can see my, I'm going left and right. I'm on the magnifying glass, then to the refresh and back and forth. From here, you can just need to, you kind of can need to count where you are. So if you want to go down to, let's just go down once. I'm going to assume I'm on FlexVision. I move over to the left. Now I'm on that app. And it will open it up and it'll let you know that 28 um, search engines or virus detecting engines um, detected this app as infected. And if you go up to the top and we can look at the AV reports, a large number of services have decided that this app is, is not, a, not a good one. So it's probably in our best interest to remove this one. Um, same thing with this one over here. This one says that uh, five out of 77 engines have decided that this one is suspicious. You know, you might want to decide to possibly remove or maybe look for a different version that might be out there and scan that accordingly. Some of the other stuff, as you can see, though, is relatively safe. Um, these apps seem to be working without a problem. They are clean. And uh, those apps you can just continue to use uh, without any without any worry. So that's how to use the virus total app. It's really pretty simple. So if you wanted to, let's, let me hit the home button here. Um, we've determined that that one app was probably not, um, one that we want to keep. So in case you're not 
familiar, we can go over to, let's go ahead and remove that app. Let's go over to the gear and we'll move down to applications and I'll show you how to remove that app if you're not familiar with how to do that. Go down to manage installed applications and we'll search for that one that was red. Here it is right there. So it says this app has been disabled because it can put your device or personal data at risk. If you try to run it, you'll see this message right here. It says app disabled, uninstall, potentially harmful app, yes or no. Um, you could keep it like it says here, but it's not gonna be usable. So let's go ahead and uninstall this app and get rid of it. There you go. It's as simple as that. We've just made our device safer and you know ready to uh, find another app that might take the place of that one. Next thing I want to do is show you how to install VirusTotal on your Amazon Fire TV device. Before we do that, I want to briefly mention that whenever you're using third-party or unofficial apps, um, even if you do scan them and they're perfectly clean, but there is still a risk that should make you consider installing a VPN like the one that I use and recommend, um, IPVanish. And that is because most of these third-party apps don't use any sort of encryption. They send the data back and forth um, through your, you know, through your ISP, unencrypted, and your ISP and, and anywhere else, you know, for that matter, in between you and them can see exactly what you're doing. And very often, an ISP doesn't like that, right? Because, you know, for obvious reasons. So it's for that reason that I would never ever run any of these unofficial or third-party apps without having my IP vanish running. So it's basically, you know, super cheap. It says there down to 219 a month. And if you look here, it comes down to basically a seven cents a day. And it's probably one of the best deals out there as far as, you know, as far as bang for the buck um, to keep you safe and secure while streaming online. Not only does it encrypt your traffic for these third-party apps, it also hides your IP address from them. So they can keep track of, you know, who you are, where you are, and all that other information. Anyway, you'll find an exclusive Cord Cutters LI link for IP Vanish below in the description. Gets you the best price anywhere. And if you do that, it does help to support the channel. So for that, I sincerely thank you. Okay, so back to installing Virus Total on your device. What you're going to want to do is go over to the Downloader app and then go up to where it says enter a URL or a search term. You want to type in the short code for the Cord Cutters LI website, which is 89364, and then click Go. That's going to redirect you to cordcuttersli.com. Gives you a few seconds to just make sure you didn't type the wrong number when you put that in there. When you get to the website, I want you to hit that hamburger button. That's the one with the three lines on it, two times. That's gonna make it full screen, makes it a little easier to navigate around. And then click on that menu, the three lines at the top left, and then go to tutorials. So that brings you to the tutorials page. And at the top, you'll see right there, it says Fire TV, Google TV, Android TV utilities. And you'll see there Virus Total updated July 25th. This is the newest version and the one that works really well on Fire TV devices specifically. You can scroll down, read a little description about the app and follow exactly how to install it. All the way down at the bottom, you'll see a link where it says Virus Total for Android. Move over to that download button and click on it. Move to the right, click on install. So after it's installed, we want to click done. We don't want to open it just yet because that lets us remove that installation file because we don't need it anymore. So move to the right, click delete, and then back to the left and click delete. Now we can go ahead and hit the home button and we will find virus total. If we go over here to the apps button, click on that. The last app installed is always at the bottom of the list and there it is right there. If you want to, you can hit that hamburger button again. And when you do, you'll have an option that says move to front. You can do that. And then when you hit the home button, you will see. So there it is front and center on your Fire Stick. So you can go ahead and scan your device for malware. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching.